we addressed it when I was on your podcast recently, is you kind of go from that informal chat and then silence for a little bit as you hit the record button. And then there's a burst of energy as you come on to the, to the episode. Um, there's so many positives, but there's so many things to factor in as well, which you don't realize until you actually get into that content creation mode, right? Social media as a tool that can help anyone anywhere achieve their life dreams faster. Um, we all now have the ability to pick up our phone and tap into the six degrees of separation with anyone in the world. Perfect social media post. It doesn't exist. My heart um, goes out to all of the marketing managers that perhaps listen to this now thinking, I can barely keep up with four, with four platforms. People are overthinking it. They're pondering and wandering and whying all over the place. The human brain processes images 60,000 times faster than, than, than words. So that is exactly why you should keep things simple and focus on attention over everything else. I really, really believe that a business with a consistent, effective platform bespoke strategy can move the needle through just organic social. I believe there's so many people out there, Paul, that actually with an effective organic social strategy, they can achieve all of their goals and objectives. But I think so many small businesses think that having, having a marketing agency help them is completely unattainable and it's not. They can make so much progress through just one area. How many times do you see, for example, people use landscape videos on every single platform regard there's so many frustrating things and and i and i don't think it takes a lot the truth is i don't think it takes a lot for someone to just learn a little bit about social media to understand how to make a lot of progress faster even regardless of of whether they engage with it with a marketing agency why is that when they're first starting out the is amount that? of conversation with business owners where they fall over because they're trying to do so much and lo and behold, it costs more both in terms of resource and time to make it happen. The other thing that really frustrates me and really breaks my heart is people fall for the vanity metrics. What's been the, what's been the impact to your bottom line then? And then there was, there was a tumbleweed moment. Where's the lowest hanging fruit? Start there. Please don't spread yourself too thin. Please don't waste time. And please don't fall into any traps, which so many business owners have fallen into before.